So, for two weeks, I've waited. I've waited to get what I want. And finally, the day has arrived. And I will get what I want. I will achieve that which I have set out to do. For those of you who have joined me today, I hope that you too will get everything that you want. Because what I want is seeds. Lots and lots of seeds. So the problem has been, over the last two weeks, the place I like to buy seeds has been closed. <laughs> By the way, just in case you haven't noticed, this is not a political video. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about politics. But what I am here to talk about is seeds. So I have a list of seeds that I want to get. And my preferred place to get them is Baker Creek Seeds. Uh, you can check them out at BakerCreekSeeds.com. I don't get paid for this or anything of that nature. But it's a, it's a site I like to go to. Uh, they have free shipping. They usually send you a free pack of seeds too. And uh, so far, the seeds that I've gotten from them seem to be of good quality. Uh, they germinate very well. But for the last two weeks, they have been uh, down due to COVID and some other issues. And so, to get what I want, I had to wait two weeks. Uh, it's terrible. But anyway, um, let me get my glasses, which I set over here, and pop up the computer where I'm going to order them. And let's talk about some of the things that I'm looking to get. Um, now, what you want to plant in your garden is entirely up to you. Uh, obviously, the things you want to get are the things that you are going to eat. So, some of the things that I'm looking at, I want to get some beets. I want to get some cabbage, cauliflower, uh, two different types of cucumbers, pickling and eating. Well, by eating, I mean just the regular cucumbers. And then the pickling cucumbers are typically a little smaller. I want to try and get cucumelons. And then I want to get some celery, squash, some seed potatoes, walking onions, and kale. These are all the things that I plan to plant over the, the next uh, couple of years. I'm also going to get some wheat seed. Um, I think it would be really neat to try... Well, I've got an idea. I want to grow wheat, and I know that I saw somewhere... Somebody had a three foot by four foot um, wheat field, so to speak, or a wheat garden, and apparently grew enough to almost make the can uh, pancakes, but not quite. So, <laughs> wheat takes a lot, but I think that the, the neat thing about it, one, I'm from Kansas, where we grew a lot of wheat, and two, um, it'll be neat to have the straw, um, and it's really kind of pretty. Uh, as the wheat grows up and once it turns golden brown, uh, it looks really nice. And so I think that would be a nice decorative uh, measure. And I've got a, a plan on how I'm going to go about planting it, which I think will be interesting um, once we get to that point. The issue I have, though, with right now with uh, Baker Creek Seeds is that uh, they're saying it can take 30 to 60 days, well, 30 days inside of the United States, 60 days if you're outside, to receive your seeds right now uh, due to the um, uh, lack of personnel and uh, issues with COVID that's going on right now. So for those of you who are north of me, um, now would be a really good time to start ordering your seeds. I will tell you that as time goes on, more and more things that you want to get um, go out of stock. And so I would highly recommend to start looking into getting your seeds now. Now some of the other places you can get them. Um, this time of the year all the way into uh, April, you'll see that most big box stores, Walmart, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, even in fact uh, Dollar Tree will have seed displays that they will put up. Well, I, let me just say I, I've seen them at Dollar Tree. Uh, I don't know that they will have, but uh, obviously I'm not working for them. But uh, all of these are great places to get seeds. Um, some of the seeds you get may or may not be non-GMO, which I try, which GMO is genetically modified organism, um, which I try not to get 
most of the genetically modified organisms are typically modified to allow them to resist um, Roundup, um, which I don't. The, at the moment, the the uh, the name escapes me of the actual chemical glyphosate, I think. But at any rate, um, I don't really need that. I don't use that, and uh, there, a lot of them are also modified to be able to withstand um, certain other chemicals. And I don't use chemicals in anything that I grow uh, because I think it's a uh, a false way of growing uh, your dirt. So, with that being said, I'm going to proceed to go about ordering. I highly recommend you do the same. Um, go ahead and grab whatever seeds you can uh, before the uh, supplies get to be more limited. If you're not planning to grow a garden, I would suggest that maybe you change your plans. It might be time to think about growing a garden. Uh, COVID is still here, issues are still going on. And it's a great stress reliever and it's a great way to be able to provide fresh, natural food for your family that doesn't have to come from a grocery store. And I mean, you know, uh, a lot of times people will spend their grocery time, I should say, or their time shopping, um, looking for fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, Whereas if you were just buying staples and frozen foods, you could buy large quantities and go a lot less often uh, if you were able to produce your own fruits and vegetables. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go about ordering. Uh, thanks once again for stopping by. Like, subscribe, and let me know what you think.